It's Kat. I'm in, back in Beverly Hills for a moment. It's so weird to be here again. Everything's changed it's a lot. There's a new restaurant that looks amazing. I don't know if it's called Ava or Aria or something. I didn't look, but supposedly there's one in New York, but it's packed. It's like an outside restaurant. It's gorgeous. Anyway, I really wanted to be in Las Vegas, but I'm actually exhausted. I flew in last night, or yesterday morning, sorry. And um, I had an appointment I had to be at. And I literally, uh, I can't go anywhere for a little bit. I need to rest. It's been an exhausting summer. So anyway, I'm going to do a video about Connor McGregor and Khabib Namaganera. Did I say his name wrong? Don't laugh. I'm going to try to do that video tonight. But I wish I was in Vegas 100% like full body cat, but I'm not. And I don't I don't want to overextend myself. There's things I got to take care of here. But I wish both of them the greatest UFC fight ever. I'm so excited. I'm scared because I don't know. I know you guys don't understand, but I love I love mixed martial arts. And I love both of those dudes in different ways. And uh, having something to watch and enjoy and to also talk to these guys which I was able to do this year. Motorcycles. Having something to take away my focus on a lot of negative things that have been controlling my life for several years has been a godsend. You may not understand what I'm talking about and that's okay, but I just want you to know that I think training to be the best fighter in the world and focusing on your goals and um, being heroes to people from all over the world is kind of cool. They risk their body, they risk their minds going into that octagon to be the best and to also give a bunch of people like me something to cheer about. So to both Khabib and Connor, Thank you for your sacrifice. Thank you for your service. I appreciate what you do. And whoever wins, it's another day. <laughs> but it's going to be an exciting fight. I'll, I'm going to try to watch it somewhere. I don't know. I might have a heart attack. But yeah, I will talk to you guys later. Subscribe. Watch other videos. This is Cat Cat Tales TV. Back in Beverly Hills after being gone for eight months. Oh my god! Bye.